Welcome to my Q&A for 15k. That's right, it rhymed. Shut the fuck up. It rhymed, and that's no crime. I'm gonna stop rhyming now. Yeah, we're gonna go through some questions you guys asked on my community post, because we just reached 15k, which is wild. I didn't even think I'd get to 1k, so 15k is astronomical. So thank you to everyone who subscribed, thank you to everyone who watches my content, and thank you to everyone who comments, even if it's shit comments. I don't care. Keep them coming. It's all good. It's all good. So let's go through and answer everyone's questions. I've not seen them before. Not seen them. I think there's about 45. Some of them will just say congratulations, but let's have a look. Jason Pellion. Congratulations. You're one of my favorite metal channels on YouTube, and I always have a laugh while I watch one of your videos. That's quite nice. Thank you for that. But his question is, what are some non-metal bands or artists you really like? Non-metal bands or artists. Okay, <clears throat> this is a hard one because I pretty much exclusively listen to metal most of the time. I can't say... Th there's no hip-hop, there's no R&B, nothing like that. I don't listen to anything like that. Um, I do listen to some dance, but I couldn't name you a single artist. I could tell you playlists, like I'd put on trance playlist on YouTube and I'd have that going for like two hours. So whatever that constitutes as, so trance playlist, dance playlist, like 90s dance, that kind of stuff I can jive with because, you know, I like a bit of a drink. And I don't mean coffee. I mean uh, alcohol. And that's, you know, dance music's pretty good for that. So I do enjoy, that's why I enjoy some of the bands like Electric Old Boy, because it's mixing the dance with the, the metal. And that's why Prodigy's good. Pendulum's awesome as well. So yeah, I like them, but I couldn't name you a single fucking artist. God, no. Couldn't name you a single one. If I'm trying to think of ones I enjoy, <sighs> Kate Bush is coming to my mind. Like, she's not rock or metal, right? She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. Um, Michael Jackson's all right, some of his songs. There you go, there's two. Couldn't name you any others, but there's two that I think are pretty cool. There you go. Let's move on. The next one by WTC is, are you coming to Brazil? Um, no, probably not. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> don't want to get shot and mugged in the street. So I'm not going to go to Brazil. Thank you very much. I know that's a meme as well. Hey, Metal Meltdown. He just says, what the dog doing? I mean, I don't have a dog. Uh, there is a lizard over there, though. And he's doing pretty swell. You know, he's, he's having a little sippy sips of his water. I don't even know if lizards drink like that, actually. <laughs> that might be snakes. But yeah, he, he's doing all right, eating his little crickety cricks. So, yeah. The dog is doing fine. It's a scaly dog, all right? Everything says, when will Shane access Jinx Maze's type Peruvian asshole? Hi, Challenger, from a Discord. Um, when will he access it? That is a good question. He needs to unlock the power of inner peace before he can access... The, the tunnel inside her asshole. He needs to find true peace, okay? I don't know how he's gonna do that. I don't... Maybe we do. Okay, let's give him a task. Shane, if you're listening right now, you need to find 12,476 blue Smarties, funnel them into your own asshole, <laughs> and, all, and then, and only then, will you have enough blue raw ass energy to be able to even stand close to Jinx Maze's ass. To even stand close. That is what you must do. Go collect your blue uh, Smarties right now. Anyway, Dice says, what is your favourite non-metal band? Oh, here we go again. Shit. Again. Oh, he... Oh, this one says non-metal. Not not rock. So I'm going to say um, King Crimson. L I really like King Crimson. Or Deep Purple. Deep Purple's pretty cool as well. Oh, it's, it's a hard one. I have to pick one. There's no pussying around. Hmm. King Crimson. I'm picking King Crimson. Very opeth like I like it. Next up by Nick. Do you play any instruments or write anything? If so, are you in a band? I'm not in a band. Uh, I, I could write some stuff for work, <laughs> but I don't write any music. And if I do, it'd be like... Timmy, little Timmy had a shoe, he stuck it in his fucking bum hole, and now he's gonna have a poo. It'll be something like that, which is ridiculous, and not even metal, but yeah, that's what I'd write. What else did you ask? Do I play any instruments? I did play guitar, I do have a guitar. 
I am going to sell the guitar because I don't play it anymore. So no to all your questions. Wheels of Mercury, congrats, Questy. Do you like neo folk artists like Death in June, Soul Invictus, Current ninety three? You've been getting into that stuff lately, and it's interesting, fascinating area of dark music. You've been watching a lot of Wyatt X him, haven't you? He likes all that shit. Um, I never explored it. Never actually explored neo folk. You know, I, it sounds like something I would hate. <laughs> no, I I might like it actually. I might like it because. I like stuff like Opeth, that's kind of like froggy, right? I don't know, folky, whatever. I like Moon Sorrow. I like Drudk. I like Nocturnal Mortem. Horner, Gravelands. Horner doesn't count. Why did you bring up Horner, you fucking idiot? You know, the folky stuff, Arcona, uh, Nagelfar, not Nagelfar. Yeah, so maybe I will enjoy them, because I do like a bit of folk, and I like Agalock, and that, you know, some of the songs in there are just pretty folky so yeah give me a recommendation down below what song should i check out first because i want to get into the genre so give me something that's a bit heavier next up drakir Eidnok. that's probably not how you say your name but it is now watch crunk on earth british deadpan humor oh kunk on earth kunk it's kind of like sounds like spunking on the earth maybe i will maybe i will lamney says shining ranking i will rank shining in time. There's a lot of bands I need to rank. Uh, on my list of bands we want to rank, uh, Shining is up there, but so is Destroyer 666, so is Satyricon. I've never ranked Satyricon. What is that about? That's one of the classics. Never rank them? What the fuck? Uh, I haven't actually had a sip of this. Yeah, let, let's let's dive right in. Oh, oh, it's hot. <laughs> ah, black coffee. I, I would try and pour it so you can see in the camera. Don't spill it on my... You just take my word for it, all right? Take my word for it. Um, next, are you a fan of music documentaries? What's some of your favourites? We'd also love a Halloween ranking. Lucky for you, fat boy, we do have a Halloween ranking on the channel, so just type in Halloween when you're on my channel, and I've ranked all the albums. Ranked them all. Well, I don't know if I ranked the new one. Maybe I did when it came out, I don't know. Um, fan of music documentaries, kind of. I prefer more people's opinions. To be honest, so I watch more like rankings and reviews and stuff like that. I might do a video where I talk about my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, documentaries are okay, but I, I prefer opinionated videos. Me, me, silly? I don't know if I said that right. What songs make you nostalgic? So songs that I heard when I was growing up. Um, so one song that makes me nostalgic is by Talking Heads, Psycho Killer. When that comes on radio, I'm like, yeah, this is good. I like I like any any song by Talking Heads because I used to listen to them when I was a kid. Um, they make me nostalgic. In terms of metal, the first ones I heard was like "And Justice for All." The song is the very first metal song I ever heard. You all know the story. Um, so that song kind of makes me nostalgic, but so does like "Early Cradle of Filth," like um, "Her Ghost in the Fog." That can make me nostalgic, which is a weird pick, but yeah, th th those are some selections. Another one, would you, do you play an instrument? Would you consider releasing some music? If I did, I would. Um, and it would be black metal, obviously. It'd probably be DSBM, I feel like. Or Funeral Doom, actually. It's either going to be DSBM or Funeral Doom. it will be one of those genres. Lord Alien says, you deserve it, man. Thank you. Easton Setiv says, what non-metal genre do you just hate? Non-metal genre that I hate. All right, let me, let me sippy and think. When you guys play along at home, put non-metal genres you hate as well. It's got to be grime. Grime's the top of the shit pile. Holy shit. What a shit genre. Like, I don't even know how it's so big. Stormzy, get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> I hate grime. They can't rap properly. It's like all this just really low mumble, like, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Like, any rap like that, I just fucking can't stand. I can't stand it. So, yeah. Grime. Rap, hip hop, that that shit is the worst. I can deal with pop, classical, jazz, blues. You know, those are good. Even pop, that's fine. Hip hop and rap is, can fucking die in a fire. What are the best pizza toppings? Ah! Best pizza toppings. Um, I like the. I'm a boring, basic ass motherfucking bitch. I love pepperoni, double pepperoni. 
Slap shitloads of pepperoni in that fucking pizza. I just had pepperoni pizza before this fucking video. I'll have you know. So yeah, pepperoni is my favourite. I do like pineapple though. Not with pepperoni, but with ham. Some people hate that. The Italians in the chat will just be like, Mamma mia! He is a sacrilege to the food! Um, but yeah. <laughs> never, never do accents, Questy. Yeah, uh, normal pepperoni for me. Normal pepperoni. Jo Joe Plays Drum says, Where do you record your videos with a strange background? Where do I record my videos with a strange background? Um, should we have a little tour? Um, I'm kind of in the process of moving though, but yeah. So this is the wallpaper. Uh, this is like a couch. He hello! Whoa! Um, if I turn around, that's like fucking messy as fuck. Yeah, so... <coughs> the living room... I, I did it quite quick, but you can see my little computer, bunch of fucking coke cans. I think my boxes are in that fucking video as well. Oh well. <laughs> Who cares? There's probably cum stains all over it. Um, yeah. In my living room. Soon we'll be getting a new one, and this won't be here, which I'm sad at. I'm getting used to the colourful wallpaper. Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I will. What's next? What album ranking has changed the most over time for you? That's a very good question. Album ranking that's changed the most over time. I would probably say Enslaved. Although I still love the Enslaved early stuff. So Enslaved is ra Enslaved is the next ranking. It is, but it's the most ridiculous one. Like, the... The places swap and change constantly. Fuck me. Yeah. It's odd. Dean H says, When will you become a fan of Grind? Um... It's hard. It's hard because... I like long. I like slow. I like doomy. I like progressive. Um, but I also like... Fast, lo-fi and shrieky. But... The 20 minute song, no, not 20 minute songs, that sounds fucking ideal. 20 second songs and like one minute songs puts me instantly off. When I see that on the track listing, I'm like, oh, fuck this shit. Because I like when riffs repeat. I like when melodies repeat. Um, that's why I like Drood a lot, because a lot of the repeating melodies and it gets stuck in your head and ingrained in you. The problem with grindcore is that it changes so fucking fast. Nothing settling in. I can't get used to the song before a new song comes on. That's my problem with it. Death Metal, on the other hand, it lets it linger, like Bolt Thrower. They keep a riff, they have it going the entire way through. That's why Bolt Thrower is my favourite death metal band, alongside Nile, which also does the same thing with a bit more technicality. Yeah. Did that explain it well to you? It kind of changes too fast. Doesn't let a good thing settle. Doesn't let a good thing linger. And that's why it's hard to get into. But I don't hate it. Repulsion is fucking great. And I like early Napalm Death as well, just not as much as the death metal Napalm Death. Phoenix Striker says, do you like jazz music? I do when it's on, and, or especially live. Like seeing a jazz pianist live is fun, especially with a cocktail in my hand. That's what I like, not a cock in my hand. Although that would be fun as well. How about a cock in one hand, a cocktail in the other? And some jazz, slow jazz. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so yeah. My question for potential Q and A, what was the album that got you into metal? So, my first album I ever bought was Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction. Um, and then after that, the song that got me into metal was Justice For All, like I said. The first metal song I heard. But the album, I think, maybe was Justice For All? So, yeah. Justice For All. Okay, the next question is a doozy. Would you rather never listen to Opeth or never listen to Iron Maiden again? So, I've got to pick one of these to destroy Opeth or Iron Maiden. Oh, my God. <sighs> Never listen to one of them again. I'm going to have to say, never listen to Iron Maiden again. And I am wearing the Opeth shirt. I'm picking Opeth to listen to more because uh, the music I haven't been with as long. Iron Maiden I've been with for 14 years. I've listened to them for 14 years. Um, Opeth I've only listened to them for like five. About five years. So I don't know the intricacies of every song. Um, I think that it's, it's more interesting music coming forward. Um, and Carter Venom was fun, even though I prefer the older, heavier stuff. But Still Life's my favourite album of all time. How am I not picking Opeth? Come on. Even though I made an I love, I got to pick Opeth. Um, 
What's next? Coleman Trevor, favourite five epic black metal albumings. Albumings? Albums, something doesn't count. I don't fucking know. Um, Eldemar, probably an album by Eldemar. Probably an album by Elder Wind. Couldn't tell you which one. Um, so those two, any album by Eldemar, any album by Elder Wind. Caledon Broods, Echoes of Battle, obviously. Um, Fire and Holtz by The Waters of Awakening, is that what it's called? That's got really fucking great melodies in that album. Jamie loves that album as well. And last but not least, Emin Mule. Emin Mule, the, um, the debut, which has fucking Tolkien-esque writing on, so I don't know what it's called. But it's the one with the dragon on its red cover, and I've mentioned it before. Those, there you go, there's some five. And for Eldemar and Eldwinged, Force of Nature, maybe? Pff, any of them, they're all good. MR11 Maiden says, Beans or Mash? Can I have my beans on my mash? No, I'm British, you know, I'm weird. I like beans or mash. Mash by itself is too dry. Beans by itself is... I don't know, it's boring. I want them together. But if I had to choose, I'll choose beans. I'll choose beans. Blackwater Rust has a good one. Uh, congratulations to a goat. My question is, would you rather fuck 10,000 goats or have a foursome with Become the Knight, Finn McKenty, and M.O.D. once every week? I'd rather fuck 10,000 goats because I'm getting the pleasure then. You know, I'm getting the pleasure. I don't want to have to fuck... Those greasy fucking scumbags, you know what I mean? Keep them away from me. I'll take the goats. Thank you very much. 10,000 goats right here. Yes, please. What's next? On a scale of 1 to 7, what's your favourite colour of the alphabet? That's by Dayton Hamilton. Um, my favourite colour of the alphabet on a scale of 1 to 7. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with Cobalt for that. Cobalt. Christine Hodges, do you plan on doing a Bethlehem album ranking? I plan on doing every black metal. So yeah, Bethlehem, 100%. LT, you're on a desert island, and you have one album. He literally just ends it with that. He, does, he doesn't say which would you pick. He just says, you have one album. I'm guessing he means pick one. Well, I'll pick... Hmm, probably Mercury, Neatum, Spectral Law, Wanderer's Astrology of the Nine. Because it's a long album, it's like two hours long. It's atmospheric black. I can look up at the stars. It's all good. Either that or Ahab, Divinity of Oceans, because I might be in that situation. Next up, um, congrats. All the loads of congrats. Where's your Aryan art tier list, young man? It's, I don't know. Somewhere. Somewhere. Ethan R., what's your favourite modern death metal band and your favourite album by them? Modern death metal band. Modern death metal. I'm guessing Nile doesn't count then. Modern Death Metal. I don't know. Um, I Tomb Mold was pretty good. I did like Planetary Cl Clairvoyance. Because um, it's Bloodborne related. The Manner of Infinite Forms is really good. So maybe that? I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Um, that's the first one that pops into my head. Is that Tomb Mold album. Uh, the other one I remember. The album called Maul. Seraphic Punishment was fucking sick. I'm picking that. Nafi Goss, thank you. What is your updated Ahab ranking with the Coral Tombs? Okay, this is hard. Updated Ahab ranking, coming right here. <laughs> um, so, last place is... Oh, I fucking hate doing this. I love... They're all 10 out of 10s. You know they're all 10 out of 10s. Last place is probably... <sighs> Boats of Glen Carrigs. I love it, though. I It's a 10. Then the giant, I love it. It's a ten. Then, then the coral tombs. Then divinity of oceans. Then call of the wretched sea. Like that coral tombs has risen high because the emotion, the beauty, and the voice. Oh my god! Especially the song, the coral tombs. Oh, I wonder what's gonna be my album of the year. Hmm. All right. Wowzers says, what genre would you classify dissection as? For me personally, melodic black. I don't understand the melodic death um, comparisons. They both have melodic in the name, that's about it. It's black metal. Fuck you. Alright, Katie Books. On an average day, how many black metal CD cases do you think you could reasonably carry on your person? How many cases? Black metal cases. It depends how big the cases are. You know, are they like chunky ones? The DVD style? CD style? If it, we're talking about regular CD style cases, 
I reckon I could carry at least, you know, this much. If it starts getting wider than this, it'll just fucking spray. But if I carry it like this, depends on the carrying um, technique, actually. If I'm doing this, I'd say about 30. 30. 30. Yeah, let's say about 30. Everyone else saying... Congratulations, that's it. Those are the questions. Everyone else who commented, thank you for saying congratulations. Uh, cheers for that. And those are some questions. I answered those questions. I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee before it goes cold. And we'll see you on some more videos. My throat's a bit fucking sore today, so I'm just throwing this one out quick. Then I'll do it when I'm a bit better. Oh, boohoo, we sick, oh. Yeah, hopefully you had some fun, and we'll see you again on another quest for metal.